Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have a marvelous God with us this morning. You know, this song was boasting about God. The song that we just sang was bragging about God. And this is exactly the word I received a couple of days back. I welcome you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope all of us are happy to be in the house of God this morning. You are all here because you love God. This is not of your own doing, but the Spirit of God has drawn us all to Him this morning. And the presence of God in the house this morning will bless each and every one of us. Okay, before we enter into the service, I'll just read this word and then we'll enter into a time of prayer. Jeremiah 9, chapter 9, verses 23 onwards. I am reading from the God's Word translation. This is what the Lord says. Don't let wise people brag about their wisdom. Don't let strong people brag about their strength. Don't let rich people brag about their riches. If they want to brag, they should brag that they understand and know me. Is God speaking? They should brag that I, the Lord, out of love, righteousness, and justice on the earth. And he says, This kind of bragging pleases me, declares the Lord. Beloved, King David bragged about his God. When he was going against the Philistines in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45, he declared to Goliath, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. This is what we should have in our hearts. I remember the Lord asking his disciples when he was asking them, what do the people say about me? Some say you are a prophet, some say this and that, but what about you? Who do you say I am? And Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. In John 6, 68, Simon Peter answered the Lord, when everybody left the Lord, and the Lord said, you too, you, if you want to go, you can leave. Simon Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the word of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. There is nothing impossible for those who believe. I'm sure you have all come with a believing heart this morning. It's difficult to love God when we don't know God. A rich man boasts in his riches because he knows that he's rich. He has a lot of money. A strong man boasts in his strength because he knows that he's strong. A wise man brags because he knows he is wise. But the Bible says, if you have to boast, boast that you understand and you know me, beloved. We are all here this morning. Let us do something new. Let us boast about our God. This is what praise is all about, actually. 
Can we just bow our heads in holy reverence? Close our eyes as we submit everything this morning, all of us, into the mighty big hands of God. Father God, we thank you. We cannot thank you enough, O oh Lord. We are all here this morning, O oh Lord, because your spirit has drawn each and every one of us. If it was not for your goodness and your kindness and your tender mercies, O oh Lord, we would not be here. We are here this morning, and Lord, we will praise you, we will worship you, and we will boast about your goodness. We will brag about you. We will say, if God is with me, nothing and no one can be against me. For I have my God with me. Lord, many of us may have come through this door this morning with heavy burdened hearts. But we believe when we go out of this door this morning, we will go with peace in our hearts, joy and comfort beyond our understanding. Many of us may have entered into the sanctuary this morning with a defeated spirit, O oh Lord. But when we walk out this morning, we will walk out victorious people. We will proclaim you are, we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father. Many of us may have been pleased with living with hearts of stones, O oh Lord God. We look at circumstances around us. We look at things of this world and our hearts become hardened, O oh Lord. But when we walk out of the sanctuary this morning, we believe that we'll all walk out with hearts of flesh, that you transform each and every one of us this morning. Because nothing is too difficult. Nothing is too hard for you. You are the sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth. You can make the sun stand still. What is too difficult for you? You are sovereign Lord. Mighty in power. Marvelous in your deeds. Father, we thank you once again for giving us this privilege to come together as your people and sing and dance and boast about your greatness, O oh Father God. Give us such a heart, dear Lord, this morning. Search our hearts this morning if there is anything at all which we might have done, which we might have thought. If we have hurt anybody, O oh Lord, if we have done anything at all that was displeasing in your sight, search our hearts, O oh Lord, clean us this morning. For we cannot approach your throne of grace and mercy. Purify us, O oh Father God. Because only you can do that. We thank you, Lord. We commit the service into your mighty great hands. We commit your servant who is bringing the word this morning. You have blessed him, O oh Father God. Embolden him, give him courage, the strength to speak what you have put in his heart, O oh Lord God. Not fearing men, but fearing you. May your word come across, Lord, because we need your healing. And you always send forth your word to heal your people. 
We come into the music ministry, the songs that we are about to sing and praise you, O oh Lord. May it bring glory and honor to your name this morning. We come into the sound system. May there be no disturbance at all, oh Father God. And we pray anything that the enemy has plans to work against this your people. No weapon formed against this church or your, your people shall ever prosper or remain. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by his blood we are redeemed and we will stay redeemed. We are a victorious people, more than conquerors. And if God be with us, if God be for us, nothing can be against us. Shall we all rise, people of God, this morning and boast about the God that you serve? Say, if you are against, if you are with me, nothing can be against me. Holler up, raise up your voices, shout for joy. Let's give him a big clap offering this morning as we go to praise and honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I just want to add to what pastor said Luke chapter 10 verse 19 says behold I have given you authority to trample over snakes and scorpions over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you I encourage you to cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you let us praise our God and just show him how much we love him Thank for everything Father. that he has done and everything oh, that he will do in your Lord life amen Father. hallelujah
on, church. Let's boast about our God. Let us shout blessings. Shout blessings. blessings. Let us shout glory. glory. Amen. Let us shout honor. honor. And let us shout power. power. And let us declare His blessing, His glory, His honor, and His power in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Glory. Power. Honor. But there's none like you. Oh, Hallelujah. Father God, as we remain at your feet, we commit our hearts. Holy Spirit, lead us. Oh, we worship you, Lord. For there is none worthy. There is none holy but you. And this morning, oh Father God, we as your people called by your name, we come to honor the one and only true living God, maker of heaven and earth. The one who is able to do everything he pleases. The one and only who is able to heal us, restore us, the one and only who is able to comfort us. The one and only who is able to give us his peace. The one and only who is always with us. Who will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, you are with us this morning. And we thank you. And we worship you this morning. Hallelujah. In your presence, O oh Lord. In your presence, O oh Lord. Father, in your presence, O oh Lord, we come this morning. Hallelujah. Let us worship. Oh, Father, joy before him, our Savior went to to purchase our freedom, trading his shame for glory, Jesus reigns. And death could not hold him down, my Savior, sin and the grave for him.
Jesus reigns over all things. He is the great I am, the risen Son of Man. Jesus reigns, Jesus reigns. Jesus reigns over all things. He is the great I am, the risen Son of Man. Jesus reigns. Jesus reigns over. The mountain shakes and crumbles at your name. The oceans roar and stumble at your name. your name filling up the skies with endless praise endless praise Yahweh Yahweh we love to shout your name oh Lord Lord of all the earth Lord of all the earth we'll shout your name shout your name
Raise up your voices this morning. Hallelujah. At your name, O oh Lord, the mountains shake and crumble. At your name, O oh Lord, the oceans roar and tumble. At your name, sovereign Lord, angels will bow. The earth will rejoice. Your people will cry out because we love you. Because we love you, O oh Lord. We will sing, for there is no one like our God. We will praise you endlessly, for there is no one like our God. We will sing, we will sing. And no matter what, we will continue to sing and praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Jesus, you are God, and we will sing. Yes, we will sing. And no power in creation can stop us from singing for you. Hallelujah. Let us in quietness. Spirit this morning as it speaks to each and every one of us. Allow me to deal with your situation with a totally surrendered worship. Do not withhold 50% or 60% for me, but I want to do total surrender. And you call me Jesus who reigns. My creations declare my glory. Why do you find difficult to declare my glory in this sanctuary? Your anxieties and worries prevent you to give the best from you. So surrender unto me wholeheartedly, your body, soul, and spirit. I am your savior, I am your lord, I am your master, and I am your helper, I am your provider, I am everything to you. So, if there is any area is not right with me, surrender. My Holy Spirit will continue to guide you and provide you. So that your hindrance will, will be removed today. The floodgates of heaven are open for you to receive 
the long awaited answers here i am lord why don't we say the prayer why here i am lord i we surrender it is not about me it is all about you that should be your attitude you heard the word in the beginning that do not brag do not think you know everything do not think that you are wise enough over the others the more you surrender and humble yourselves i am the one who is going to lift the church yabo yabo more than you think or imagine the days are coming my outpouring of my holy spirit is in this place receive as yes, the great breakthroughs are happening now but if you are unable to receive it surrender ramala ra da roke se pakuri mala vara de rikala varsha do ro boro even an iota of doubt may not be able for you to receive your answer there is a healing there is a blessing there is a provision there is a protection there is a providence and there is shelter everything is in me and it is for you because i am the one who called you out of darkness you are called my precious children and beloved children so surrender do not withhold do not resist the holy spirit thank you father as we remain standing this month we are praying for the nation of pakistan and i would like to call upon our dear sister mina philip to come in front and lead us all in prayer hallelujah thank you lord jesus thank you for your presence in this place behold how beautiful it is when brethren dwell together hallelujah it is like the anointing oil that flows down the head of aaron down his beard down his robe it is like the dew on mount hermon and that is where you command your blessings hallelujah yes father we are assembled here and we thank you for your precious anointing hallelujah thank you father thank you father for enabling us to come together thank you for your presence lord hallelujah you reign over us you reign over everything that's happening over here and as pastor said father this is about you and not about us father be glorified in our midst be exalted in our midst jesus hallelujah build your throne and be seated hallelujah hallelujah and and make us know in a special way of your presence here oh lord thank you jesus we humble ourselves father we remove every doubt oh father god hallelujah and receive all that you have father come here with for us oh father all the blessings that you have commanded for us oh father thank you jesus thank you lord we exalt you hallelujah you have asked us ask of me i'll give you nations for inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession father we are here as one body father god unite our hearts and ask for the nation of pakistan oh father thank you lord pakistan belongs to you you are the lord of pakistan oh jesus and we your children as we pray father god we pray for all the people we pray for the authority we pray for the church we pray for the leaders of the church lord we pray for the missionaries father god thank you father that your will will prevail in that nation jesus thank you lord i pray against all the terrorist activities all the ethnic violence and all the evil that is happening there that there be unity lord let your peace rest upon that nation oh father let the name of jesus fly high like the banner father god on top of that nation because of our prayer today yes father nation can be birth in a day it's like a bucket it's like a, a drop in your bucket of oh other so we can expect revival to happen in one day as yes, father our prayers won't go in vain we do not pray, pray like a routine we pray expecting mighty things to happen in that land we see the cloud of god's glory covering pakistan because of our united prayer that is rising up from this part hallelujah father god we pray for our pakistan and in self father in this church we pray for the leaders father 
pray for unity. We pray for peace. We pray there will be a doubling in numbers. People in darkness will be plugged out, Father, and put into your church, Father God, in this place, this cell, Father, for your glory, that they may grow up into maturity, Lord Jesus, bringing glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We pray for all the leaders, uh, Father, that you are placed. I pray, Father, that the, the rules, Father, that they keep, Father, will all be for the advancement of your go- for the gospel in that part of the world, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We pray for Beherin. You have asked us, pray, uh, submit petitions and prayers and intercession and thanksgiving. Be made for all people, for kings, that and all in authority that they, they will lead peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness, Father. Yes, we pray for Bahrain and we pray for the Middle East and pray, pray for our native lands, Father, that we will live in godliness and holiness. We live a peaceable and quiet lives, Father, bringing glory to our Creator. Let there be mighty encounter with the Creator, God, for the locals over here, for all the expats over here, Father. Let revival be birthed, O oh, Father, as your coming is drawing so very near. Prepare the church, O oh, Father, to reflect your glory to the rest of the world that people can throng into the sanctuaries father to meet with you father god and grow in you lord thank you father thank you for your mighty presence here the rest of the service we give into your hands and we are here with great expectation father as to what you have to speak to us in jesus name we pray amen before we take our seats can we for one more time give our god a great big and of clap offering this morning. Thank you, people of God. And now I'll call upon Pastor Philip to a warm welcome once again to all who have gathered in this sanctuary and are watching us online. Put your hands together and wo- <laughs> worship the Lord. It's good to be in the house of Lord. How many of you agree? Lift, raise up your hands and wave on the air and say, yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Once again, thank you for joining us. Uh, anybody new fellowshipping with us? Anybody new? Is uh, Sister Sharon Siju Anna is with us? Ah, you are the one. Uh, put our hands together and welcome her. Thank you for joining us. Pastor Dom was continuously, see, he's written it in bold letter and told me that you need to welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, also, Brother Joe's, uh, who has left uh, the church, uh, he has re- come back uh, on deputation. His office wants him to finish some more work. And for that, uh, stand up, Brother Joe's. Uh, and also, Brother Chris has been flown in for two weeks to play the drums because the church has opened. Let us welcome him also. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Anybody else new fellowshipping with us? We have forgotten your names for two years. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. So, uh, after the service, there will be samosas and biscuits out there. Put your hands together for that. So, we are getting back to normal. Amen? Can we say a big amen for that? Amen. Yes. So, also, I want to request that anybody would like to sponsor the samosas, uh, you are free to do that. We have 30 language groups, so pick up one of the days and so that you can sponsor. It's about 8 to 10 BD, so in your language group, you can announce and say yes. Even more than samosa also is welcome, no problems. <laughs> so, uh, feel free to do that. Uh, let it be a blessing to the people. And uh, we will announce who has been providing the samosa so that the congregation will be blessed. Amen. All right, a few announcements. Uh, Ordination will be happening on 28th, Monday, 7.30 p.m. Ordination for the names that have been uh, put forward and selected. Uh, You need to come on 28th, Monday, 7.30. I'm sure the pastors uh, would have already notified you of this. Uh, So ordination will be on 28th, uh, Monday, Uh, That won't be a Monday service on that day, so Monday, 28, uh, 7.30 p.m. Also, before that, on 18th Friday and 25th Friday, in our morning service, after the morning service, those whose names are put forward for ordination, they need to uh, be here with their families. Pastor Jacob will address you. Uh, So 
what is the call, the election upon your life, and why uh, church uh, ordains people. Uh, uh, yeah, ordain people and going to ordain. So uh, this will be addressed by Pastor Jacob. Uh, so please come with your families because the ministry is not alone, but with your family. So if your family is around, please make sure that you come on. So three dates to remember, 28th Monday, 7.30 p.m., the ordination date. And 18th and 25th will be uh, a refreshment or a re rehearsal of what is going to happen. Pastor Jacob will uh, uh, speak to you on that. That is, will be after the service, 10.15. Uh, Friday on both days, okay? So, church school is organizing a Holy Spirit encounter meeting on 1st May. That's a holiday, Labor Day. So, that'll be early morning till evening. So, uh, details will be announced uh, later on uh, in our services. Uh, so, just remember that Holy Spirit encounter for the children uh, will be on 1st May, Sunday. Uh, that'll be a holiday. So, morning to evening, they are planning uh, to do that. Uh, so, please start praying for that. Uh, Holy Spirit encounter doesn't come because we are just having some programs. The Holy Spirit encounter comes when there is a, a real prayer and a dedication and, a, you know, uh, the separation for that. So, uh, let us uh, uh, look forward for that. Uh, also want to thank Pastor Prem and Pastor, uh, sorry, Brother uh, Regis, uh, you know, they did a wonderful job. The rooftop was leaking uh, for the church. And uh, they got together, they act, and uh, they plastered the whole place. And uh, uh, now we are leak-proof. And uh, when I say that, uh, I also want to say that it was costing the, uh, the, uh, the total amount of construction or the whatever they did was around 1,000 BD. And that's not on the church, but it came from God. Amen. So thank you, Pastor Prem and Brother Regis, for doing this wonderful job. So this is what the church is all about. When there is a gap, when there is a need, you pitch in for the glory of God. Amen? Amen. So let's move forward in that way so that we know that, uh, you know, all the gaps and we are back to normal. So everything uh, will be in order. All right. Uh, we are going to pray for birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Uh, we'll request uh, Pastor Thomas. Put, uh, take your uh, offering in your hand as pastor. Thomas will pray for the offering. And uh, anybody celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, please rise to your feet uh, if you're online. Pastor Wesley also is celebrating. Why are you not standing up? Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Father God, we thank you this morning that we have come into your sanctuary, O Lord, to praise and worship your holy name, O Lord. And we also thank you for the privilege you have given us, O Lord, as your children to pray for the needs of the church, O Lord. At this time, O Lord, we lift up to you those who are celebrating their birthdays and their wedding anniversaries, O Lord. We thank you for them, O Lord, God, that you have taken care of them throughout the last year, O Lord, and even these two years of pandemic, O Lord, your mercy and grace was upon them, O Father God. We thank you, Lord, as you have protected them, O Lord, and provided all their needs, O Lord, and blessed them in each and every way of their life, O Lord, that we pray that you will continue to do so and be with them, O Father God, in this new year or this coming year, Father God. Your con blessing uh, will be upon them mightily, O Lord, Take care of them, protect them, and Lord, also cover them with your precious blood, O Lord. Let your mercy and grace be upon them. Bless them with their finances, O Lord, physically, spiritually, and socially, also um, materially, O Lord God. That your name be glorified by them, O Lord God, that you have blessed them, O Lord. We thank you, Father. We praise you and we give you glory and honor, Lord. We are pray especially for the married couples, O oh Lord, as you have joined them together, according to word, O oh Lord, that they have come together and become one flesh, and they are no more two. And what God has joined, that no man should put asunder, Lord. We pray your special blessing upon them, Lord, that they may be in love and united and one accord, O oh Lord, God. Hallelujah. That the evil one will not bring any kind of 
hindrance or any kind of uh, division in them, O oh Lord, or discord, O oh Father God. Your love will reign upon them, O oh Lord God, and keep that family united, O oh Lord, the couple united, O oh Father God, and fill their hearts with your love and joy. There will always be love between them, O oh Father God. We just bless them, both those who are celebrating their birthdays and those who are celebrating their anniversaries. We bless them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. This time also, now I lift up you, Father God, the bags, the offer tree of Father God. We thank you, Lord. You have given us the power to make wealth, O oh Lord. You have provided with our needs, O oh Lord. You have given us jobs, O oh Lord. This time, Lord, is our time for us to sow the seeds, O oh Lord. As, as we sow, Lord, we can reap. So we must so graciously that we may reap, reap graciously, O oh Lord Jesus. We thank you, you are a good God, O oh Lord, and you have always provided even during this pandemic time, O oh Lord, and you have blessed us in every way, Lord. You are a great and a loving God, O oh Lord. We thank you for it. Lord, we bring a portion of our earnings, O oh Lord, and we put in these bags, O oh Lord, that it may be used for your kingdom and for your glory, O oh Lord. And those who handle it, O oh Lord, Father God, you may Give them the wisdom and the knowledge to use, O oh Lord, how to use it for the extension of your kingdom. We give you all glory and honor, Father, in Jesus' most precious name I pray. Amen.
you, Jesus. Before we enter into a time of listening to the word, uh, I want to remind you that uh, the church is still in need of people to help them. And I would like to uh, bring your attention that uh, we want some help for the counting of the tithes and offerings. Uh, so please contact uh, Pastor Harrison for that. If you can spend a 15 minutes after the service counting the notes uh, for the tithes and offering, it will be nice. So please contact Pastor Harrison. Also, I want to remind you that you see some flowers over here. Yes. How does it come? Early morning, does it grow up and somebody puts water over here? No. There has been a family who was doing this for years now. Thursday evening, that flower is in the church and uh, they make sure that these are coming. So I'm just reminding you that whatever the little things that you can do for the church, let that be done. We are in agreement. Amen. So let's put our hands together and welcome Pastor Jacob. He's all set to give us the word uh, this morning. Yeah, reading of the scripture, Sister Rachel, uh, come forward. The scripture reading for today is taken from Psalms 107, verses 28 to 43. They re then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm, and he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let him exalt in the assembly of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. He turned rivers into a desert, flowing springs into thirsty ground, and fruitful land into a salt waste because of the wickedness of those who lived there. He turned the desert into pools of water and the parched ground into flowing springs. There he brought the hungry to live, and they founded a city where they could settle. They sowed fields and planted vineyards that yielded a fruitful harvest. He blessed them, and their numbers greatly increased, and he did not let their herds diminish. Then their numbers decreased, and they were humbled by oppression, calamity, and sorrow. He who pours contempt on nobles made them wander in a trackless waste, but he lifted the needy out of their affliction and increased their families like flocks. The upright see and rejoice, but all the wicked shed their mouths. Let the one who is wise heed these things and ponder the living deeds of the Lord. May the Lord add blessings to the reading of his word. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I welcome and greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. One more opportunity God has given to us to come together in the presence of God. Uh, before I start my message, I want to request you. I want to thank you for your prayers, and I request you to continue to pray for the church. Your prayer is more important than anything else. We, as a church, we kept one hour one hour prayer, one hour prayer. That is Wednesday, 7 to 8 p.m. 7 to 8 p.m. every Wednesday. We, one week, we as a church spending all together one hour prayer. I request you who all can come here. We are uh, having in the room number two. Please come and pray with us. See, not only for pastors, for everyone. Then the rest of the people, wherever you are, I request you join with us. Join with us. 
even you are working you can remember and pray are you listen how many can do that god want a change in our life and in the church god is preparing holy spirit is preparing these days so please join with us for that we thank you the time you are given to us thank you for our uh, music ministry and thank you for the media and thank you you heard people are joining to the other to glorify the name of jesus christ let his name be glorified we are looking for more soul to add it to the kingdom of god more this church is for that god has planted this church in the land of bahrain for this purpose and all over the world all over the world that is why different language group different nation people here so i just that this message go into your heart to bring different people why we are different from every nation god has joined together to complete his mission as he leave from this earth he put trust in us we will complete it we will complete it say amen to that hallelujah hallelujah we are for that we are for that okay please join in prayer and evangelizing this is the main task god has given to church of philadelphia church of philadelphia and all the churches let us do it hallelujah for that we need time we need suffering we need uh, money whatever you can count see god will bring it when your heart is there that's what the things will god add where your heart the things will add into that hallelujah amen that i i believe and that is why we are inviting you for prayer and may the god help us hallelujah you, as we read that psalms you understand where we are going to share something from the word of god hallelujah yes psalms underline 7 psalms are very easy to understand that is why we when we children all like to read uh, psalms but how much we t- take is for our life to change that we have to think okay let us go through that 28 29 and 30 words 28 29 and 30 then they cry out to the lord in their trouble and he bring them out of their tris- uh, distress he calm the storm so the its waves are still then they are glad because they are quiet so he guide them to the their desired heaven praise the lord now you turn your turn your face from the bible <laughs> i want to see your faces <laughs> hallelujah i believe this sam is relevant in this time our god is a god who lead us to the stillness that is what god is doing in this time 
who did covid pandemic at least this situation who vaccine our care our way of doing things scientist wealthy people who did this now at person we are gathered here who did this still scientist and the nation's responsible people are after this they cannot fight whatever is done that is god did how much thankful to god how much we have to be thankful to god in this time as a church but when psalmist when brings to the close of this psalms conclusion see what it is written it is written who ever wise will observe these things i bring your attention who ever wise they will observe these things you understand what is the meaning of that when they are in the still or a quiet or a calm they will observe how it happened and also they will observe how it rise and also they will observe what is the reason for rising this pandemic not only that is conclude that sams and they will understand the loving kindness of god oh what a great word they will understand the loving kindness of god hallelujah i asking a question when we gather here today are we observing the two years we've passed do we observe that today i will take whatever time we will get we as a church you want to more go word forward knowing what is happening in all of our life we lost someone we lost someone we go through difficult time we all cried all over the world not only believers all cried in this time that 28 words 28 words we read they cry out to god that praise is used to four times verse 6 verse 13 verse 19 verse 28 and also it is written not only they cried out to god but god delivered them that also stated there for all the four words that is why psalm is start that psalm how it started he end with telling to you must understand the loving kindness of god 
and he's starting that psalm with what? Oh, give thanks to the Lord. He is good. I know, I realize, I understand, I've gone through knowing the love of God. Are you giving thanks to the Lord? Are you coming and lifting your hands when you lift your hands? Are you realizing? Are you observing and giving thanks to the Lord? This is called sacrifices of praise. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his good. He experienced. He experienced. Why we cannot lift up the hands? One pastor with a shout, lift your hands and say thanks to the Lord. Then slowly, thanks. Who want this? I am thinking like that. Who want this? And not blaming or yeah, for realizing, for observing. Us uh, being. Give thanks to the Lord. And not against encouraging people to praise, but but I like people to learn to knowing the love of God. Knowing the love of God and saying thanks to the Lord. Saying the verse. One day I was preaching one, one meeting, small meeting in the room. <laughs> I have a problem with the thoughts, <laughs> hot water, I think sometimes. There, a new house, and uh, I was preaching, I got cough. One lady from there, she told that house, that who is holding that house, I tell that lady to give pastor a glass of water. Nobody else saw something. Are you listening? If you don't learn word, no problem. Learn to live. Christian life. When I am standing here, I don't care. God is allowing me to stand here and advise you and correct you and see. I am full confidence for that. That is why I am sometimes I rebuke, I do things. Please, excuse me. Do you want in Church, in your family, do something, somebody to encourage you, to force you, to tell you. Pick up your dirty things here and throw it outside. A real sinning, angsters and all. This all comes, this, why I am telling all these things? This all comes in knowing the love of God. Knowing the love of God. Why there is, you understand what is this? Friction. Why there is disunity? Why there is, in, even in the homes, All develop from knowing, understanding the love of God, knowing the love of God, 
understanding the love of god is different god of god clearly said us observe the things what is happened oh give thanks to the lord for he is good for he is good for he is good how many of you are from your heart now you are giving thanks hallelujah hallelujah this is not a time it's what i am telling i am experiencing and i read bible when some words comes and prick my heart i will sometimes i read in the bed i will all of a sudden i will get down and kneel down and give thanks to the lord worship the lord See, I am not telling I am correct in all ways. I am perfect. But some of the things let us together understand and we move forward. God wanted to do in 2022 why this come be God brought all over the world. This is for the church. God is doing something for the church. Amen. Amen understanding observing and understanding is love and moving forward this is my message today understanding we will observe we will correct the things why i cried and what is the reason for that crying dig it find it with a root remove it Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures. His mercy, why that word used? I was thinking like that. Why? His mercy endures for her. The psalmist or the people who read this understand again and again of this, our disobedient life. He endures forever. He experienced. 2000, eh? He experienced 2001, he experienced 2002, he experienced it. Endures forever. Hallelujah. His loving kindness. He is he's admitting, I've gone wrong. I sinned. I was disobedient. He understand his cry from where? Not for the pandemic. Pandemic, there is a reason. It affects the church. It affects the people. I will tell you what was that. They cried out. Two way of Crying is there. We can murmur and cry. We can repent and cry. Have you learned that? We can murmur and cry. We can repent and cry. Then he says, Second verse. From the, uh, this is New, uh, New King James translation. Let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed. Whom he has redeemed. He did that. Redeemed from the hands of the enemy. Hallelujah. He understand. I was in the hand of the enemy. Observe. Observe. Church. 
families individual observe when we are in the hands of the enemy we cannot praise we cannot understand the love of god he will not allow so don't blame anybody not praising not worshiping not coming to the church even telling i am born again because they are under enemy if you are get freedom from the enemy at least two things i will tell you they know they are free from the enemy and they cannot keep quiet hallelujah they cannot keep quiet they have to give thanks to god because of the freedom he got hallelujah the second thing i will tell you most important thing they know the love of god they know the love of god if they are free from the lord they know what is the what is the one of one of the one of the uh, uh, what do you call manifestation or one one of the one of the things we can find the man who has freed from the enemy the see it is the psalmist is said it is very clearly it is clear what he did when he freed from the enemy what he did it is written in the third verse i want all of you listen carefully hallelujah morning there is a feeling of sleeping before before not now now no now all are good 2022 pandemic is gone we are coming no sleeping nothing is there okay oh third word third word okay okay uh, third word only okay th- th- <laughs> verse 3 uh, they gathered from the wilderness what it means what it means it's a way i understand uh, sorry please uh, excuse me to uh, the way i am expressing and making to understand they gathered means what is one is there one is here one is there one is there one is there one is far eh that is why you know that is that is the way i understand okay they now is a place now there is no distance now they are not alone they are not helpless they have fellowship they are sharing and you understand something this is what after the pandemic god is doing bringing together bringing together don't be selfish for yourself you are coming here for god purpose you are coming here for god purpose observe and understand the love of god and share fellowship hallelujah so many coming here sitting together but one one is in the north pole and other one is in the south pole don't laugh it is correct even in the bed you can see two are there in the bed one is in the north pole and one is in the south pole 
it should not have pen when you observe your life and understand the love of god family is husband and wife and talking to you pastors and elders and the, the ministers of the church listening here and on the online and talking to you gather together god us bringing you together don't create any division don't keep one lonely let there be fellowship let there be unity let there be understanding each other understanding the love of god us observing the life when we cried when we cried and we go through difficulties god our god is a god who allow us to be the place where our selfishness or our selfish strength we fail that is what seeing in this pandemic time who was strong over the pandemic scientists leaders of the countries medical line pastors who was there over that god food i have authority what we saying now what we saying our god food in everything i shut my eye is it correct i like i sang and i told <laughs> I, i want let our prayer be that let our prayer be that you are bringing children with, with the bible and all what was uh, any children can say what was uh, uh, first words pastor benny was reading any children any children any children sitting here hallelujah children coming and going don't fight with the children don't fight with husband and wife late or this is happened to me that is why i'm telling you uh, tell you are going to the church listen these things you tell me the children when going back ask what was the message how pastor was there what mistake pastor d- don't ask all these things okay these things you ask what was that message you remember that words or tell him he more her this was the words and this is what the thing at least one word they will learn going back why <laughs> this fighting what is the use okay did you heard that who is wise to, eh jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 and 24 my testimony i am not a man to remember even one telephone number from one telephone number i can my wife was fighting me always why 
calling her name. Uh, what is that number? What is that number? What is that number? I don't know anything. But after reading Bible, after meditating Bible, I can remember. Okay. God wants to reign. And so he is powerful in our life. Let us join together to allow. This is one of my prayer. And please join with us if you believe. Let our Lord reign in our church. In our church. In our church. serving and understanding the love of God, the first thing we know, we are forgiven people. There is no different in that. There is no different senior pastor and the member of the church. We both are forgiven. That is why we are one. And understanding the love of God, we will not hate. We will never hate and stand away from the church of God. Church is Christ. Had we are joined to the head, we will never ever be away from that if we are knowing, understanding the love of God. Hallelujah. What are then? Why they cried? Four times it is, I told you. The six words is telling. They cried out of the Lord and their trouble, uh, their trouble and he delivered them out of their distress. What was that cry? If you read the four and fifth verse, it is written there, they wandered in the wilderness. A desolate way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. I am bringing this to Halli. This is literally experience the Israelites. Literally. The church of God is now what is telling? They are, because of the wrong teaching, the way is l losing in so many Christians. You understand? One more time I will tell you. You don't go for all the internet messages. You sit and study the word of God. What, go what, what is telling? Don't go for the emotional things of this. There is one truth. There is no fast food in the Bible. Don't think there is a way God has given that way you are to go. Hallelujah. One day one disciple uh, in this is happening in India. Eh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, this Maharshi, Maharshi, this uh, saints, the big saints, uh, the great man, one disciple went and told, uh, Master, I want a pen. Wherever I appear, a exam, I will guess first. He prayed and gave one pen, the uh, saint gave, uh, gave a pen. He will get uh, wherever he go. He can write the exam. He will pa come past. Whatever he want to write, he will do. Like he want a pen. Then the master said, "No problem. No, no problem. You will get it. You will get it." And uh, one thing I will tell you: you have to go where that uh, pen is found. That is, he show a building. And so, uh, there is two, seven rooms for that building. You have to, 
get in the first room second room third room fourth room fifth room sixth room and seventh room when you finish the seventh room you will get a pen then he decided to seven rooms yeah you will do yeah then he entered the first room first room what he had to do there was only reading some books he took one book second book third book he finished that book very quickly because it was very easy very uh, yeah likable to read he finished it he entered the second room within few days he finished it the second room he went he went that is little bit hard take more time to understand then if because that his master has said or oh, he finished it with some months then he went to the third room third room was a little bit tough but because of the two rooms he encouraged him to finish that third room also with maybe year and fourth and fifth and sixth and seven it take time it was hard but he was looking for something a pen anything he can write then he finished the seventh with years then he came to the i didn't find any pen there you open the door and go out and get a pen from anywhere and that will help you to write any question any question you go and write any answer will be if a worldly way is that how much more our christian way understanding the love of god understanding the love of god i will make it clear knowing christ life understanding the love of god is knowing christ life and praying to transform that life in our life maybe it will take time but but for our master's sake whom we play we sang song there is nothing impossible to him don't think we are children don't think we are brothers and sisters we can we can we can absorb something we made like that we made like that we made like that in his image in his image that is why we can absorb we can observe and we can absorb the love of god in our life may god bless you i didn't complete that rest of the things if you are reading 107 psalms we can know each that four statement before or after god is correcting their way their rebellion they are disobedient that then god delivered them from a 
bondage and the slavery and their sickness even from their death bed our god is almighty he can do anything in our life anything in our life only thing we must know we must observe why it is why and is love is everlasting endures for ever understanding that and receiving him himself in our life giving the ownership no more i you no more i christ let it happen let it happen in our life father we thank you we thank you lord see your mercy what i in my thoughts and my desires i got it from you i share with you sir lord this is your church let every family husband and wife observing their life and living and understanding understanding and living in your everlasting love must father also i pray our children and our church knowing that you joined us together we joined us together once you joined no man no worldly system no evil thoughts and desires no powers of darkness of no authority to depart to take away so let the church function together joining to the head of the church christ and we all join together to complete what message we get from you what desires in your heart we transform to us we will complete it o master here we are we commit into thy mighty hand father we thank you for hearing our prayer in jesus name we pray amen amen god bless you all Let us all stand to our feet. God allowed certain times, certain things in our lives. The pandemic, we went through two, two and a half years. How many have to boldly say that it has helped us to have a closer walk with this, our Lord? And how, how much time we have spent with the Lord? our complacent life has been changed to the towards the two years and six months nobody can say yes no my lord has not done anything he has been keeping us safe and secure and i am damn sure many of us have increased our prayers the relationship so today first of all telling about we can cry out and complain mama or we can cry out and ask for help he is our holy god he is still on the throne he rules and reigns so we must surrender ourselves if the any area is not right with him we are unable to get any success or freedom let us close our eyes and look at him lord these are the areas i want to surrender 
I do not want to hold. What does God say? Do not forsake the assembly of saints. Why many people are not coming? Why still laziness or sluggishness? Or we are not giving importance to our God? Please let us think. Zoom is available. But the thing is, do not forsake the assembly of saints. Father God, we thank you and praise the Lord for the word, the incorruptible seed which has fallen into the fertile ground. Let it grow in our hearts with this. Help us to get 60, 100 folds for Master God. Help us to set an example to the people who are around, in the family, in our, in our yes, Master, in the church, with our fellow brothers and sisters. Help us to hold hand together, go forward. This is the year of restoration. And you are going to do great and mighty things in the Church of Philadelphia and in our families who are master. Help us all to have a closer walk with you all the days of our lives. Give us the reverence and honor to give unto you, Lord. Father God, we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Receive the blessing. May the love of God the Father and the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us forever and ever. And the children of God say, Amen, Amen. Let us close the, let us all give a clap offering to the Lord and let us go to the song. Amen. God bless you.